Hello, this is Nick with nickscomputerfix.com and here's a video on how to remove a rootkit virus off of your computer and it's free and easy. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here by opening up an internet browser. In my case, I'm going to open up IE and you want to go to this URL address and you are at the Kaspersky download page what we want to do is download the tdsskiller.exe file and um, if you want the instructions on how to download it for Windows 8, um, Windows 7 and Windows Vista click on one of these links. Um, if you don't go ahead and click on the tdsskiller.exe and uh, in IE that opens up this little prompt down here and it asks me if I want to go ahead and do it and I'm going to say um, save because I'm going to save this to my computer and it downloads relatively quick and once it's done I'm going to click on run and that will initiate the um, installation of the program and Windows 7 um, will prompt me with the user account uh, control uh, question of yes or no do I want to install this program and I'm going to authorize it and then um, it starts to install I get the end user license agreement um, read it and then accept it and then read the KSN statement and certainly accept that. Which will go ahead and launch the application itself. And um, before we click on Start Scan, let me point out two things. One, uh, let me shrink this first so we can see it a little bit better. Um, one is that um, if it finds a rootkit uh, virus on your computer, um, most likely it's going to have to reboot your computer to completely uh, clean that uh, rootkit off of it and uh, two make sure that you have uh, any applications or um, any documents open make sure they're closed before you click on start scan and um, the scanning process is relatively quick but it depends a lot on the speed of your computer and how many files um, you have on your computer as well. As you can see here it's moving relatively quick through my computer system because um, I'm on a test computer that has a um, um, limited number of files on it. Alright, um, once it's done um, it found no threats on my computer which is cool. Um, it tells you how long it took and uh, if it found a threat it'll most likely tell you that um, it's uh, been quarantined and it'll suggest a reboot. Alright, um, that's it for um, this application. Um, this rootkit um, um, detection program um, TDSS Killer is great but it has um, a few quirks. One, it does not um, create a shortcut on your desktop so you have to go down to your file manager or open up your file manager rather and go to the location where you downloaded the program in my case it was in the download um, folder and right click on the um, exe and that will bring up a menu and that will allow me to um, scroll down and click on um, send to and I want to send a um, um, a shortcut or create a shortcut on my desktop and once that's done I can go ahead and close out this uh, file manager and as you can see down here on the lower left hand side um, there is a shortcut now on my desktop and I'm going to go ahead and double click on this and show you that I have to always say yes to the user account control prompt and I always have to say accept the uh, agreement and the KSN statement as well and then the program uh, launches and you can go ahead and click on start scan alright um, that's it for this video subscribe and uh, like my video